You know, <clears throat> you said something just a second ago that I think falls short of a lot of people, especially a lot of men. And that is, um, you said your partner, your business partner, who you've been partnered with for seven years now, mm -hmm. you're still learning from him. When he talks about um, some of the treatment side of things, you shut up and you listen. Oh, yeah. absolutely. It is, it, it, I, you, you know your role, you know your lane as, mm -hmm. your, as your business partner. You yeah. know what I mean? And I think a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the reason why I think partnerships fail is because there's the, the, the pe people are just so eager to overlap into, Hey, uh, you know, if you got a business partner, you, you, it should be very clear what he's going to do and what you're going to do, mm -hmm. what she's going to do, what you're, whatever. Yeah. So if, you know, if he's going to do service and if you're going to do sales and I'm just, I don't know if that's your mm -hmm. arrangement, but if that's the arrangement, then you, you decided to partner with this man for a reason. Trust that he's got the exactly. service under control. Exactly. You know, so many people are so worried about the other person not doing what they're quote unquote supposed to, you know? So like th there's overlap there and then they come over into your lane and you know, there's that's the demise of a lot of business relationships. Yeah. yeah so, <clears throat> but, but no, yeah, I was just going to say, you know, that's, uh, that, I think that's extremely important where you can, you know, you, you can take your hands off the wheel. You know that you're, you know, you know this man is going to take care of that part of your relationship. Mm -hmm. you yeah, because he doesn't want to do what I do, mm -hmm. and I don't want to do what he does. So it works out great for us. Um, he loves being uh, the GM. Mm -hmm. He likes to, you know, deal with the, the office, the equipment. The That's what he loves that. Yeah. Man, I don't want to deal with it. I want to <laughs> get out and meet people. I want to make the phones ring. I like the network. I like, yeah. I love the people part of this business. When you went, when, when you, okay, so you had a business before you, before you teamed up with, um, with your partner, right? Mm -hmm. So, and that was Premier? Yeah, Premier Water Systems. So whenever you and your partner got together, is that when y'all went with? Yeah, so what was interesting, he already had the name The Water Man. Okay. And I like that better than Premier Water Systems. Like, man, <laughs> I'm not, yeah, that's cool with me. So we can move forward. He wasn't doing any marketing or promotion around it. Well, now people know The Water Man, yeah. you know, as a result of, you know, the efforts, because that's what I was doing anyway. Sure. I just switched yeah. Premier. You know, for the most part, and mm -hmm. we just, you know, created our entity because it was, our, it. I mean, the name already existed. He hadn't formally. Came. Right, right, right. So, yeah, it just, it just worked. I like the water, man. That's like, man, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's very fitting, right? Yeah. So, so whenever you, <clears throat> okay, you had a, I mean, you had a vision before you met the guy, before you met your current business partner, you had a vision for what you wanted to do long term. Mm-hmm. After the two of y'all partnered up, how close to that vision do you think you got? You know what I mean? Because like you said earlier, you wanted to do service and and at the at that very moment when you first started, you weren't able to do it. Mm -hmm. Now you are, you know, of course. So, you know, what you wanted to do versus where you ended up at as of right now, as we're sitting here, how oh, close? Wow. Man, so uh, 